Students, in one of my previous video lectures, I have discussed the ancient Greek Aristotelian concept of tragedy and Shakespearean concept of tragedy. In today's lecture, we want to discuss the features or characteristics of the ancient classical Greek drama. See, number one is, you know, most of the times in the ancient times, that means during the 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th century BC, you know, the drama was enacted on the stage publicly on religious festivals only. And Athens was at the center where such public plays were performed by the actors. Now this is the picture of Theater of Dionysus where these plays were performed publicly. Another important feature is that in the ancient drama, ancient Greek classical drama, there is less action and much of poetry. Okay, they were mostly poetic plays and poetry was recited by the characters who are standing on the stage. As far as number of characters is concerned, you know, in most plays you find only maximum three actors on the stage and much of poetry was presented by chorus. Moreover, the three actors whom you see on the stage, they were given high elaborate costumes, you know, and they were wearing high heel boots. As I told you earlier, you know, there is less action and much amount of poetry in the ancient classical Greek plays, you know, that's why chorus plays an important role. But here, you should remember, the chorus consisted only of male singers. Females were not given that freedom to play publicly on the stage and that's why the singing portion was also done by the male singers. There were from 5 to 50 male singers on the stage who presented, who recited most part of the story. Moreover, as far as the ancient drama is concerned, Greek drama is concerned, you know, they are also known as mask plays. Why? Because the characters were given the masks. Depending on the kind of emotion they wanted to express, you know, uh, depending on that, different masks were given and were changed from time and again when the drama is going on. So uh, that's why they were known as mask space also. Another important thing is that the story which is presented on the stage, that story was mainly based on some ancient myth or history. So historical, mythical or religious stories were presented on the stage. Moreover, too much violence or the scenes of death were not presented. They were mostly narrated by the messenger or by the chorus while they were singing. Okay, why? Because sometimes, you know, presentation of too much violence creates psychological wrong effect on the audience. As far as the structure of the ancient Greek classical play is concerned, you know, the classical plays were not written in acts and sins, you know, as we find in English drama, if you read William Shakespeare's plays, they are written in five acts and different scenes. But if you read ancient Greek tragedy or comedy, they were written in parts. Actually, the drama begins with chorus followed by part one, then followed by chorus or messenger, and then part two, and the drama ends with a messenger. Who are the important tragedy writers of the ancient times? Then you should remember these three names, Aeschylus, Euripides, and Sophocles. Okay, they were popular tragedy writers of the ancient times. As far as writing comedy is concerned, you should remember this name, Aristophanes, who has written about 40 plays, but hardly 11 plays are surviving in our times. I hope this video is helpful to you to get some introductory idea about the ancient Greek classical plays.